Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal's Satherine Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to do a feature at video on our 8360 hand operated clicker press. The 8360 is a great machine for uh, cutting small to medium sized dies in a multitude of different types of materials. You can use it for cutting uh, uh, leather, you can use it for cutting cork, you can use it for cutting rubber, you can also use it for cutting uh, nylon sheeting and so forth. So I want to just sort of introduce the machine to you here. This press is rated for approximately four tons of pressure. And the convenient thing about the press is that it has a swing out design so that you can actually swing the head of the press away much like you can do on larger industrial clickers. So the head swings basically um, 360 degrees almost all the way around. So you can actually move the head out of the way if you're cutting different sizes of die stock or if you need to position the leather in order to be able to put it onto the press. Um, there's also a height adjustment feature on this press that by turning this knob clockwise or counterclockwise it has the effect of raising or lowering the cutting ram so that you can accommodate different sizes or thicknesses of dies. So by loosening this, by turning this counterclockwise, it raises the ram up and that in turn allows you to use a thicker die. Uh, this being the type of steel rule die that we're talking about right here. This is the dies that are used to cut out the leather. And so by, by loosening this, it has the effect of raising the ram up. By tightening it, it has the effect of dropping the ram down. So you could in fact use a thinner die, I believe this to be maybe inch and a quarter steel rule die stock if you wanted to use a one inch die. By tightening this knob right here it has the effect of lowering the platen down so that you can in fact use a thinner die stock with it. So let's do a quick demonstration. I also wanted to show you just prior to doing this video we cut using the cup coaster die. We cut these cup coasters out of uh, some pieces of leather here that we have laying around, just some harness leather and stuff like that. And we also cut out this boot using this die as well. Now, uh, th this machine works pretty effectively on um, dies that are approximately this size, and this is around a three inch die. Maybe you could get up to around a four inch diameter die. Now, sometimes we find that um, if, it's, if it's an item that's difficult to click, if you put a cheater bar over top of the handle here just by dropping it down and placing this over top the handle, you can squeeze an additional bit of tonnage out of the machine to do some larger sized dies. But again, we wouldn't recommend that you wrench on this machine because, you know, obviously it's set up for approximately four tons. You might be able to squeeze four and a half tons or five tons out. But this is not a great machine if you're trying to click eight and a half by 11 dies. So you definitely want your die stock to be a little bit on the, you know, smaller side again for small and approximately medium sized dies. So let me go ahead and give you a demonstration of this machine and I'll show you how it works. So we'll swing this out of the, we'll swing this plate out of the way. We'll go ahead and place the die into the machine. We'll swing the plate and back into position. Now I'm going to have to stand in front of the camera here for just a moment while I do this click. But anyhow, so you pull down on the handle, pull down all the way, and then you see that it did click the, uh, the uh, die out and it clicked the leather out. And you can see that that's a perfectly round piece, perfectly symmetrical with the circumference of the die. So this machine is a great machine for those people that are looking for something on a budget. I believe we sell this machine at $1,195 complete. And that does come with the polypropylene cutting pad underneath. And you can actually flip this polypropylene cutting pad once it starts to wear out. And these can also be planed in uh, wood planing machines if you want to get a flat surface. So uh, just as an introduction to this machine, again, this is the 8360 hand-operated clicker press. And if you have any additional questions about this machine, you can uh, feel free to call me. My name is Ryan Neal with the USA office of Neal Sadlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. And I can be reached at area code 330-692-1418. And I do thank you for your time today.